The Habitat Elevation Hub is compatible with more than 1,000 different devices connected via Zigbee, Z-Wave, Matter, Wi-Fi, and other network connected devices such as Lutron via the Lutron Smart Bridge Pro. Adding devices to your hub can be done using your computer via the Hub UI, but we're going to demonstrate this using the Habitat mobile app as it gives you the flexibility to add devices from where they're going to be installed in your home. Plus, it allows you to scan QR codes for adding Z-Wave Smart Start devices. The process for adding devices of each protocol are similar, but there are differences, so let's walk through each one. Adding a Zigbee device. To add a Zigbee device, open the Habitat mobile app, tap the Devices tab, then tap the plus sign. Tap Add Other Devices. If you need instructions on how to put the device in Zigbee pairing mode, you can search for it by type or brand. You can also jump directly to the Zigbee pairing page by tapping here. If the device you are adding was previously joined to another hub, you will need to do a factory reset on the device before adding it to your Habitat Elevation hub. Once it is reset, put the device in pairing mode and tap Start Zigbee Pairing. Some devices are discovered right away, others can take several seconds. In the unlikely event that pairing fails, you can try resetting the device, then attempt pairing again using these two links. After the device is discovered and initialized, you will be asked to name the device and assign it to a room if you have rooms set up. Once this process is complete, we recommend going to the device detail page to make sure it is functioning properly. And look at that, it works. Adding a Z-Wave device. Older Z-Wave devices can be added using a traditional inclusion process, while newer Z-Wave Plus devices and Z-Wave Long Range devices can be added using Smart Start. To add an older Z-Wave device, tap Add Other Devices in the mobile app. Then, like the Zigbee inclusion process, you can search by device type or brand, or go directly to the Z-Wave inclusion page. If the device was previously used, it is essential that you run a Z-Wave exclusion before trying to add it to your Habitat Elevation Hub. Ideally, this would be done when removing it from the previous hub, but you can also run a Z-Wave exclusion by tapping here, then follow the device manufacturer's instructions to put the device in exclusion mode. Once you get notified that a Z-Wave device was excluded, follow the manufacturer's instructions to put it into inclusion mode, then tap Start Z-Wave Inclusion. After the device is discovered, it may ask you if you want to include with or without S2 security. For most devices, adding S2 security is unnecessary and it can slow the Z-Wave network, but it should be added for devices like locks and keypads. If you do choose to add with S2 security, you will need to enter the five digit pin that is the first five digits found on the QR code on the device. Finally, give the device a name and add it to a room. To use Smart Start to add Z-Wave long range devices, locate the device's DSK QR code, usually on a sticker on the back of the device or on the box. Do not power on the device quite yet. Select Add Smart Start Devices in the mobile app. Tap Smart Start. Then tap this icon to open the QR scanner and scan the QR code with your phone. When the scan is successful, it will ask you to name the device. This will add the device to your Smart Start Devices list as pending. If you tap on the device in this list, you can set the security parameters and, if it is a Z-Wave Long Range device, you can choose if you want to add it as a Z-Wave Long Range device or as a Z-Wave Mesh device. You can now power on the device. Within a few minutes, the device should be automatically added to your hub. Adding Matter Devices before you can add a Matter device to your Habitat Elevation Hub, it must first be commissioned with another Matter controller that has commissioning capabilities, such as Apple Home, Amazon Alexa, or Google Home. I'll demonstrate using Apple Home, but the process is similar for all commissioning devices in that it basically involves scanning the Matter QR code on the device and then saving it to that Matter controller. Once the Matter device has been commissioned, go to the Habitat mobile app and select Add Other Devices. If this is your first time adding a Matter device to the hub, you will have to enable Matter by tapping here. Once Matter is enabled, go back to the Add Devices page and tap the Matter button. Now it will ask you for the Matter setup code. This is not the QR code on the device. To get the Matter setup code, open the app for the commissioning device, go into the details page for the device you're trying to add, and select Turn On Pairing Mode. This will create a Matter setup code that you can copy. Now go back to the Habitat app and paste that number into the field and tap Pair Device. Once the hub discovers the device, give it a name, add it to a room, and it will be ready to use. Adding Wi-Fi devices. Wi-Fi devices do not pair directly with your Habitat Elevation Hub. Instead, they connect to your local area network via the router, and then are integrated into your Habitat Elevation Hub via an integration app. To add a Wi-Fi device, in the mobile app, select Add Other Devices, then search for the device by brand. Once you find the device, you will be given instructions on how to add the device to your hub and a button to install the integration app into your Habitat Elevation Hub. 
Most Wi-Fi devices will require you to add the device to your Wi-Fi network using the device's app first. Once that is complete, you can go to the app section of your hub and open up the newly installed integration app for the device you want to add to complete the process. Installing LAN devices. Network devices that connect to your Hubitat Elevation Hub using a bridge or cloud connection are also added to the hub using integration apps. To add LAN devices, again, go to Add Other Devices and search for the device by brand. Once you find the device, the mobile app will provide instructions on how to add the app and a link to install the built-in integration app. The process for adding LAN devices can vary a bit, but it generally involves a discovery process such as this one for the Philips Hue Bridge, or providing cloud credentials such as the integration app for the Ecobee thermostat. The Hubitat Elevation Hub offers several built-in integration apps for the most popular Wi-Fi and LAN devices, but you can find additional user-created integrations in our robust online community. You can also visit our online documentation for troubleshooting tips, advice on building a solid Zigbee and Z-Wave mesh, and a complete list of officially compatible devices. Thanks for watching, and thanks for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.